To get started, plug in the included sensor and a UIS device into a port to power the controller. The port number corresponds to the number on the display. Press the port button to navigate to the port you wish to program. You can only access a port number if a device is plugged in to that number on the back. All devices plugged in will receive the same programming while the controller is in all. Next, press the Mode button to navigate to the program you want to set it to. Each port can run only one mode at a time. We'll go over each mode first, then all the settings that can modify how they function. Off mode will turn the device off. While in on mode, your device will continuously run at the level you set. Auto mode will allow you to set temperature and humidity triggers. Because most applications will use only one trigger, we recommend turning off any triggers not in use. Hold the up and down buttons together while in a trigger to deactivate it. These are the four available trigger types. The high temperature trigger activates your device when the temperature meets or exceeds your set figure. This is typically used with devices like ACs and fans that help lower the temperature when it gets too hot. The low temperature trigger activates your device when the temperature meets or falls below your set figure. This is typically used with devices like heaters and seedling mats that help raise the temperature when it gets too cold. The high humidity trigger activates your device when the relative humidity meets or exceeds your set figure. This is typically used with devices like dehumidifiers that help lower the humidity when it gets too humid. The low humidity trigger activates your device when the relative humidity meets or falls below your set figure. This is typically used with devices like humidifiers that help raise the humidity when it gets too dry. VPD mode works similarly to auto mode, allowing you to set high and low trigger points that will turn your device on or off when VPD readings exceed or fall below your set figures. This mode is primarily used for growing applications. The two separate timer modes allow you to set countdown times, your device will turn on at the end of the timer to on countdown and turn off at the end of the timer to off countdown. Cycle mode allows you to set an on and off duration for your device to repeat continuously. Lastly, the schedule mode allows you to set an on and off clock time for your device to repeat daily. All of these modes can be affected by the following settings that modify how they operate. You can adjust these settings and then return to your previous mode to resume programming. The minimum setting and maximum setting affects all modes and establishes the lowest and highest level a device can run at. These two settings are hidden in the levels you had set in off and on mode respectively. The transition setting modifies auto mode and VPD mode to dynamically ramp up levels gradually if the temperature, humidity, or VPD gets further away from your set target. The transition figure you set will create intervals of itself above and below your set trigger point. Then, for every interval that surpasses your trigger point, the device will increase its level by one. For example, you first set your device to run in auto mode with an 80 degree Fahrenheit high temperature trigger. Then set the temperature transition to 2 degrees Fahrenheit. The transition figure you had set of 2 degrees Fahrenheit will create intervals of 2 degrees Fahrenheit above your high temperature trigger point of 80 degrees Fahrenheit. From 80 degrees Fahrenheit to 81 degrees Fahrenheit, your device will run at level one. From 82 degrees Fahrenheit to 83 degrees Fahrenheit, your device will run at level 2. Your device will continue increasing its level by 1 for each 2 degree Fahrenheit intervals it surpasses until it reaches the max level. The buffer setting modifies auto mode and VPD mode to create a buffer for temperature, humidity, and VPD triggers. This sets a different trigger off point, creating an on and off band that prevents the device from triggering too quickly from small climate fluctuations. Note, these modes can only be modified by the transition or the buffer setting, but not both. 
For more details and information on other settings, please visit our website, acinfinity.com.